exclusive that uh, you all got to watch. It's the first time it's been seen, any part of the Jungle Book uh, in that length. Uh, so today is a pretty special day. Uh, firstly, I'd like to welcome Vishal, who will join us later on stage, who's, uh, you know, friend, collaborator, uh, you know, uh, someone we've worked with for years now on so many different projects, and he's, despite the fact that he had a grueling schedule to do of Rangoon and he was leaving, he still made the time to revive the classic that he and Gulzar Saab had, you know, composed all those many years ago that so many of us have grown up on and helped us to revive the nostalgia. So he'll, he'll be joining us up on stage. But today we've got a really, really special guest as well. Uh, you know, when we in India learned that Disney had greenlit the Jungle Book, it was, all, it, it, it was one of those really emotional things for many of us here in Disney India because it's been a film that so many of us in India have grown up on. Uh, we, we all remember watching the original classic. We all remember, you know, the bare necessities and Mowgli and Ka and Bagheera and, you know, I mean, Sher Khan and we've all grown up on those characters. But just the fact that it was going to be done in live action, the fact that it was going to be, you know, given the the Disney magic, and the fact that there was going to be a little Indian boy, an Indian American boy called Neil Sethi, who was going to be playing Mowgli. That, of course, for us was a really big deal because the fact is, and when I call Neil up, I'll ask him to say a few things about it, is that Neil is actually the only living thing in the film. Technology has grown to the extent today where everything else that's in the movie and that's in the trailers that you've watched and when, when you finally watch the film, is actually not living. He was, act, he was performing the incredible feat of acting on a soundstage in LA, like he was in the middle of the jungle with all these creatures, but actually acting to blue screen and acting to, you know, the sort of directions from people about who he should be imagining that he's watching. So that's really quite incredible. What we also decided to do was that we wanted to treat the film like an Indian film. You know, in most respects. One is, of course, we've got the English version, but we wanted the other versions, especially the Hindi version, to be one where you actually don't even know that it's a film that's been made for audiences, you know, around the world. Because effectively, you've got Neil playing Mowgli, and all the other characters, once they're voiced by Indian characters, can actually, so the film can actually be treated like an Indian film in all respects. So we got Irfan, we got Priyanka, we got Shifali, we got Bugs Bhargav, we got Om Puri, we got some incredible talent on board to voice the different characters in the movie. And when you watch, please do watch both the English version and the Hindi version, and of course the Tamil Telugu version if you know, you know the language. Because the way that we've actually been able to transliterate the language, we've not just translated it, we've actually tried to keep the essence of what was being said on screen intact. And these, I mean, the, the artists have done a really, really incredible job. And now, I'd like to present our very own Mowgli. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You need a mic. Ooh, I got a mic. <laughs> Why uh, don't you sit? So, Neil, welcome to India. Thank you. This isn't your first trip here, right? No, I've been here like six or seven times. I okay. Uh, uh, do you have family here in India? Yes, my grandparents are here and okay. a lot of my cousins. Awesome. And what do, you, what, what do you like about India the most? Um, probably that it's so like different from usual, like just usual New York where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And it's like something that you always have to like, like if you're looking, it's such a like a big, cool scenery. And it's like so, di I don't know, it's just so different and cool. And I heard you have a special fondness for Golgappas. Yes, definitely. And how many of them can you put away at one go? Um, I think I said 27. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried to beat my sister, but that did not happen. That's incredible. That, I think, is a feat that any adult in this room would be proud to be able to say they can do. Yeah. Uh, so you're here with your parents? Mm -hmm. OK. A big round of applause for them, too. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> So, Neil, you know, you are a star here in India already. I, I, th I think you know that, right? Yeah, I saw that back there with, like, everything Jungle <laughs> Book. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. So, I, I, I think everyone here would love to know what, what the experience was like of working on the Jungle Book. 
Well, it was so cool, but different, apparently, but because I've never done this before, so I think this is normal, but it's really not. <laughs> so I just kind of went along with it because I didn't know what to do. I just, he was, John was like, do this. I'm like, okay, because <laughs> I, I don't know what to do, so I just do whatever anybody tells me to do. So John, who, who is a director and who's also directed Iron Man, mm -hmm. uh, I heard that there was an interesting way that you guys shot the song Bare Necessities. Yes. How did you shoot it? Well, because in the movie currently, it's got you sitting on top of Baloo and going down the stream, and that's in the trailer. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't really happening, right? Because you guys were on a soundstage in LA. No. So how did he get you to, to shoot that? Well, that was probably the most real scene we've ever done because it was actual water, an actual water tank. And there was just like a big lump of styrofoam with a, like a fuzzy brown carpet on top that I was just laying on, and John was like the head leaning back. He got into the water, and he's just leaning back. And when Blue splashes me, I don't know if that's in the trailer, but oops. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really... Um, it, it is, it is, don't it worry. Is. Okay, good. Um, it's really funny because John is actually splashing me and not Baloo, and so it was like, he likes to change it up so I don't get bored of whatever we're doing, and it was like something funny, I was like, oh my god, because he actually splashed me, so I actually had a real re reaction, and it wasn't acting, so I was just like, I splashed him back, because, So, know. you, you were actually acting with John and with, yeah. like, like, sort of the other people on set pretty much all through, mm -hmm. trying to act like they were the characters in the film, right? Yeah. It was, it was really cool. I, Excellent. What was the audition like? The audition, okay. I was in a Bhangra class, actually, and... You were in a Bhangra class? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Indian Bhangra class. Does everyone mm. want to see a little Bhangra from Neil? A <laughs> little not. bit, J just a step. I didn't hear this before. No one told me this. <laughs> okay, you guys have to provide the percussion, right? I'm just going to raise <laughs> <my hand>. <laughs> <laughs> A long time well ago, done, I don't well remember. done. And I, I heard the first thing you did after your audition was go out and eat a hot dog? Yes, I did. And that was probably, well, one of the highlights of that day because I was really hungry and my dad said. I don't think the Disney executives want to know the highlight of the day you did the audition <laughs> was eating the hot dog. Okay. <laughs> my dad said, if you do good, you could get a hot dog. I was like, okay. So, any, anything else you want to share with everyone here because they, they're really looking forward to the movie? Anything you want to tell them about the experience? I just want to say there's a lot of cameras over there. Yes, like, there are. Like, a lot. Um, it was just really fun and a lot, like, so different, I guess. And um, I love, like, touring all around the world, especially India, because this is my home. I heard you've got a line that you've, I mean, you, you, you don't speak Hindi, of course. Yeah. Because you're, you've, you've been understand. born in the U.S. and grown up there. But your mom's taught you a line in Hindi that I think she'll be thrilled if you can recite for everyone here. Okay, so I may get it wrong, but it's okay. Okay. Me Mowgli Ho and, oh, no, not and. No, no that's, and. that, yeah. <laughs> but Me Mowgli Ho was fine. Um, or? Me Ghar Hai. This is my. Ye Mera? Ye Mera Ghar Hai. Wow. Well done. Ah. <laughs> okay. On that note, we're going to show you guys the Hindi trailer, followed by the making of, and then a little special something, and then we'll have someone else join us up here on stage. Okay. Vishal, to come join us up here on stage. Thank you, Vishal. Thank you for recreating a lot of nostalgia for many people in this room and around the country. Please. So Vishal, you want to talk a little bit about the song as it was back then and what it was like doing it now? Yeah, I think um, it was year 1992 uh, when it was my first break and I was struggling in Bombay. I just shifted from Delhi. It was year 91 I shifted. And uh, the serial was being made, uh, produced by NFDC at that time. And someone else was supposed to do this song, but at the last moment he backed out and Gulzar Sahib called me that we have to do a song, but it has to be recorded tomorrow and because it has to go on air day after. <laughs> So it was a Sunday morning and, uh, you know, I went to his place and I played him some tunes and, uh, you know, he just, he, he's a genius master and he wrote this line, Chaddi Ben Ke Phool Khilai. 
and uh, we recorded the song and the song was released and then it became like the big success it was my first big success this was your first uh, this song this was my first song with guldar sahab bombay <laughs> and bombay and with guldar sahab and this became a big success i remember on 26 january the you know ganatantra divas parade there mm -hmm. was a jhanki which had chaddi ban ke phool khilaye <laughs> so it became like a national anthem in those days and uh, you know and then my career started then guldar sahab gave me break in marches and then uh, you know i became a composer and then director and after 23 years when amrita called me and said uh, that uh, we want you to do revive that song again and the situation was the same because i was going for my rangoon shooting and i had only one day to re-record that song and then guldar sahab and me and we met and uh, we did this and i am so happy that you know it was it's again being liked by people and i remember one one thing yes uh, that Uh, when it was released in 1992, uh, you know, a friend of mine called me from um, Bhopal. He said, you know, the RSS Shaka uh, behind their uh, home, in the morning they sing this song in their morning uh, uh, Chaddi Ban Ke Phool Ke Laaye. Chaddi Ban Ke Phool Ke Laaye. Because <laughs> <laughs> it they moved Chaddi to long pants and, now. Yeah, so. <laughs> and it was Kamal Kapoor. So, you know, so uh, this, I... I remember so much and uh, so I thought it's worth mentioning today. That's incredible. <laughs> so Neil, it's, it's, it's not a song you've ever heard, right? But I heard that your, your mom heard it when, I mean, when, when she was in India, isn't that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's something that, you know, so, so many people in India have grown up on and, you know, those, like Priyanka was saying, the show that used to come on on Sunday mornings. Uh, I'd like to open it up to Q&As now. I know that Neil's Dying to answer some questions. Yeah. <laughs> and Neil is so cute in the film. I Thank wish you, you don't so grow. <laughs> uh, Vishal ji. Vishal ji. Here. Vishal ji. That side. Left. Oh, oh. Ah. Yeah, yeah. विशाल जी जो ये ओरिजिनल सॉन्ग जब आपने बनाया था तो उसके बोल कुछ अलग थे और इसमें बदलाव किया गया हालांकि ये बोल भी बहुत खूबसूरत है लेकिन ये क्यों चेंज किया गया उसमें बहुत अच्छे मुझे लगा कि 23 साल में हम लोग भी ग्रो करने चाहिए वी शुड डू समथिंग न्यू सो दैट वाज द रीजन तो ये ये जो सॉन्ग है ये भी गुलजार जी ने ही लिखा है जी 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 और आई मीन इट्स रियली अनफॉर्चुनेट ही कूडन जॉइन अस टुडे ही इज सेंट हिज विशेस टू अस एंड ही जस्ट गॉट बैक फ्रॉम ढाका from a week long trip and he said he uh, you know he he would have loved to be here siddharth ji aapse bhi ek sawal karna tha ki ye film bachcho ke liye bani hai itni badi itni bhavya film aur wo bhi hamare desh ki film ise ua certificate diya gaya to uska aapne virodh kyu nahi kiya kyunki ye film hi bachcho ke liye hai to usko ua certificate kyu diya gaya you know actually uh, film to bachcho ke liye hai there's no doubt about it but it's also for families and i think uh, you know we wanted to retain the sanctity of the film and ensure that we didn't have to cut the film at all from exactly the way that it that that we would like it to be seen and unfortunately i, I think for a u certificate we might have had to do that so i think what we figured is that families will be able to come and watch it parents and kids will be able to come together and watch it and we'd like the film to be you know kept uh, you know exactly as it is so that's why but i have seen the film there is nothing which which asks for a u s certificate in this film it is such a beautiful film <coughs> i mean there's there's nothing which which is going to scare kids or you know yep no nope. i so mean it's a it's it's a kids film through and but through but let's accept this fact that we are th these are the times that jungle book is being given u s <laughs> <laughs> neil this is a question for you hi hi uh, out of all the animals that you worked with which one is your favorite Well, I didn't work with the animals, but if I had to well, pick, okay. Yeah. Um probably Baloo the bear because he's so free-spirited and laid back, laid back and he like he cares but he doesn't want to worry that much and he's like all bear necessities and all happy and yay. <laughs> he's like he's like very calm. Hi Neil. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I just just you know like before the next question, I mean the the reason Neil says he he didn't have to work with animals is because he really didn't. This was shot completely on, you know, I mean, it was shot on blue screen, and everything that you see in the film has actually been added in later. So that's the that's that's the amazing part about technology today. Yeah. Hi, Neil. Uh, this is Alok on your right. What's the reaction from your school friends after the first uh, promo trailer? Okay. Well, when I first went for the audition, I was end of elementary school, 
and our school basically split up into two schools, and all of my good and close friends all went to the same school as mine. And so when I got there, like late sixth grade, um, everybody knew me, everybody was still comfortable with me, because it was most of the same friends. And um, some of the new people, new friends, um, they think it's really cool. Everybody, most people think it's really cool, but they still like they're they're not they don't realize how big it is. But I'm happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know about uh, Bollywood and your favorite actor actresses? If you name, huh? Well, I really like when I watch any like Indian movie or anything. It's just really cool, and it's so it's kind of different. I don't know, it just is, and <laughs> I just really like it. Uh, hi, Siddharth. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, my question is, how did you go about with the voice casting for the Hindi um, film, and how important was it to get Nana Patekara Sher Khan again? You know, he was our first choice. So, I mean, just how we went about going, uh, how, how we really went about the voice casting was, we decided that we really wanted to be able to cast known voices in each of these parts, because each of these parts are so well known. We all know Baloo, we know Bagheera, we know Ka, we know Sher Khan, we know King Louis. So we really wanted to be able to get uh, voices that we all recognize and love and enjoy to be able to go with each of these characters. And we made up our list. And we had, obviously, first choice, second choice, third choice. And thankfully, all our first choices, as soon as we approached them, said that they'd do it because they all love the Jungle Book. And just for them, like Priyanka was saying, to be able to voice Ka, just the fact that you know, you've grown up on this character, and now you can actually get to be their voice was something very special for them. Hi, Siddharth. So that here, Hi. In the in the old Jungle Book that we watched as kids, uh, there was another character called Rani, which I don't see in this one. So is the story the same, or is it slightly different from the? Uh, if you can just remind me, who was Rani? Was the uh, girl who comes from where the humans? So came. you'll have to watch the film to know whether there is a Rani in this okay. or not. <laughs> okay, my question to Neil. Okay, uh, Neil, now that you're a star, are you treated any differently at home? Do you get a, a kind of a star treatment at home? <laughs> not at all, not one bit. My sister will still be. So me vehement, to the no, and his parents are nodding. <laughs> Very <laughs> vehement, no, as well. <laughs> Especially my sister. She'll beat me to the ground. <laughs> hi, Siddharth. Uh, hi, Siddharth, towards your right. Over hi. Here. Uh, you know, like you said, that Jungle Bull, uh, like, People have grown over Jungle Book in India. So, uh, and since it is a solo release on 8, so what uh, sort of release are you planning for the film in India? We're planning a very wide release. I, I don't have the exact number of screens really at this point, but it is going to be English, Hindi, Tamil, and Telugu. And it's going to be a very, very wide release across the country because we think it's a film that's going to appeal to, you know, pretty much, you know, everyone. Uh, and one more question is, uh, you know, with Hollywood films doing well in India, do you think a time will come when Hollywood will take over, uh, take over Bollywood like... Uh, across the globe, the Hollywood film industry is doing. No, no, I don't think so. I think we we love our movies. We you know we are we are people who enjoy our stars, our stories, our grammar filmmaking. I I don't think that day will ever come. What what is happening is that a lot of Hollywood movies that we uh, like and enjoy are the ones where our our cinema is not being able to give us that. So if it's something like a superhero film, or a creature film, or a disaster film, or even a film like The Jungle Book, which is, you know, the sort of scale is so spectacular, hopefully Indian movies one day will be able to do the same. Siddharth, at this side, uh, just, you know, just to sort of, uh, you know, the, 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 the another question related to that. Uh, is your marketing, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, the PNB budget, is it sort of closer to what you would, you know, for this film, closer to what it would be for an Indian film? I mean, this is sort of like, it is an Indian film and yet it's not. Uh, so, you know, how do you sort of, uh, how do you market it, and, you know, um, is it something different that you're doing this time? Uh, yes, it is. So, you know, other than the fact that we can't go on reality shows and we can't uh, do city visits across the country, Pretty much everything else is like a Hindi movie. We're doing, you know, television, and we're doing radio, and we're doing, you know, uh, print, and we're we're uh, doing a lot on digital media. So there are so many things that we're doing that are exactly the way that we would market, you know, a local production. Uh, hi, Neil. Uh, on your right, actually, this side. Hi. So we see a lot of. Uh, obviously, you did the entire film alone. The entire yes. film, you're just the only person. How much of acrobatics did you have to do? I mean, because we see a lot of jumping around. Was it just you jump from here to there, or did you actually have to, you know, well, it was hang all, yeah. by the tree? It was all like green screen, blue screen, which is the same thing. Um, but I got trained in parkour, which is like free running and like trying like 
basically it's running but like a cool way of running so like to get over <laughs> stuff instead of like so like okay time out let me get over this tiger okay now continue it's like you like jump over it it's really cool eh? and it's really just me jumping from one like blue um blue shaded platform to another and then they make it look like it's a 400 400 feet drop and i think that's really cool cuz after i first first watched it i was like i'm cool <laughs> <laughs> Because it looked like it, I didn't really do that, but it looks like I did. So, yeah, what's the, I mean, okay, your friends, obviously, we got to know about your school friends. But uh, girls, are they impressed <laughs> that you can jump as much? And parkour is interesting. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> He's not quite at that age yet. Siddharth, <laughs> hi. Samne aapke. जी इसके अलावा आपकी एक बहुत बड़ी फिल्म रिलीज हो रही है जंगा जासूस लेकिन बार बार बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स आ रही है कटरीना और रणवीर की ब्रेकअप की वजह से तो फिल्म कब तक रिलीज होगी और फॉरेन में शूट हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है क्योंकि कई रिपोर्ट्स आ रहे हैं फिल्म को लेकर कुछ कहना चाहेंगे फिल्म के बारे में कि क्या है कब बनेगी कब सो फर्स्टली ये जंगल बुक की प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस है तो आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट एनीथिंग एल्स बट सिंस यू रेज द क्वेश्चन येस द फिल्म इज प्रोग्रेसिंग वेरी वेल uh we are shooting overseas and uh, you know in 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 my experience uh when there's a lot that happens in the course of the making of a movie and there are ups and downs those movies usually turn out to be really good because th that shows the amount of effort that's gone into it sometimes the smoothest movie turns out not to turn out all that well so i i i don't think the process of the making of the movie has anything to do with the way the movie will finally turn out uh, yes it has been you know a while uh but uh, we're really happy with whatever that we're seeing and the footage is spectacular so i think anurag basu is someone who should be left alone to do what he does best neel hello here who is your favorite actor um i don't know i've never been asked that before um i i guess all the actors from the jungle book <laughs> <laughs> he's learned diplomacy <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll take one more question. Yes. Um, hi, way at the back. All right, clearly VFX is the way forward. It's not only Jungle Book, but even in India, a film like Bahubali is winning the national award. What are your thoughts on it and, um, you know, VFX? No, I think VFX is very important as long as it's in the service of telling a great story. I think you've seen a lot of examples in, you know, in the past, in, in the recent past as well as you know years ago where vfx can't save a movie that doesn't have a great script but vfx can really enhance a story that that needs vfx to be able to aid in the storytelling absolutely I don't know if you want to add anything to that vishal yeah no and we are doing very good in vfx now we are improving uh, a lot very you know it's a very rapid growth mm -hmm. and as siddharth said it should uh, enhance the storytelling absolutely and vishal sir of course mr bachchan has won the national award for the best actor for piku what are your thoughts on it I mean, he's a great actor. He's a legend. What can I say? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Any Hi, more questions uh, for Neil? One last question for Neil, and then we'll wrap. Okay. Well, I hope to do more. I don't know yet, but I have some stuff in the works. Hi, one more. Uh, Runa. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. जो पुराने singers या जितने भी पुराने जिन्होंने voice over किया है Jungle Book का, आज वो कहाँ हैं और क्या आप उनसे touch में हैं? हाँ एक दो लोगों से टच में हैं अब उनके अपने बच्चे हैं यू नो वो लोग जो दस बारह साल के थे वो बत्तीस तैंतीस साल के हैं कुछ नाम लेना चाहेंगे सिंगर्स का या हाँ हिया वृंदा दो बच्चे थे एक बच्चा था गौतम उसको मैं नहीं ढूंढ पा रहा हूँ पर बाकी दो तीन बच्चों को मैं ढूंढ पाया थैंक यू थैंक्स एवरी
solo.